So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out. And today's video is about how to use artificial intelligence to help you with your sports betting tips and predictions. Yeah, so we use it to help us um, basically to save us time, really. That's the key to it. Um, we get as much data as we can uh, from as many different sources. So we actually all sat down. Uh, we went through what each of us use um, to find our uh, horse racing bets, and we did it for football as well. Um, obviously, all that data we get, we then feed that into the AI. The AI crunches the data, and then the data analysis comes back uh, with predictions, and then we make the final decision on what we want to back. Um, obviously, it helps you eliminate... Um, a lot, a lot of things uh, when you're looking at it, and it helps you, more importantly, find the value. Uh, so for horse racing, I mean, value is everything. Um, so, yeah, it, it all comes down to the amount of data you, you sort of put into it, the better result you're going to get. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm using it quite a bit on um, football as well. So I'm using it on, especially on spread betting. So there's certain yeah. websites like Who Scored and stuff like that that provide... Um, the average passes for certain players. So you can actually back like player performance and stuff like that. But then you can then start to see is what are the averages of their team having the possession. So obviously you're playing against Man City and Man City averaging 70% possession. Well, then you need to start going, well, maybe I shouldn't be back in an opposition to Man City. But if you've got two teams and they're both relatively low in possession because they're playing the better teams and they're playing against each other, yeah. One of them is going to have more possession than the other. And it, you might find value in a centre midfielder on the player performance of that. Or if you're looking on um, horse racing, you've got so many different data sources, whether it's at the races, Sporting Life, Racing Post, GGs. There's lots of different places where you can gather data and crunch that information together for data analysis. And how much time do you think this is safe? Like, Because this is what it comes down to. It's not replacing you it's supercharged you have your your ai gambling bot of what you're using is mega impressive like mm. can you explain a little bit more on that of what how artificial intelligence is saving you the time to then you deeper dive into a shorter span of let's say there's 20 runners in the race sometimes it's about eliminating 10 of them and then you can spend more time watching the previous races of the 10 that you might be looking to tip or back each way and stuff like that that's it. Like, um, it's obviously saving us loads of time because you're having to go to each of them sources. Uh, you're going to racing post in the morning. You're going to at the races. Uh, you're going on odds checker, checking the odds. Whereas all this information is fed into the system, and then it's it's coming back with bets um, and what va what the value is to back in each race. So it's it's amazing information, really. Um, but I think also, like you say, that time you save it just gives you the opportunity to watch more races because I feel like the visual impression that you get is still important to have. Obviously, AI is just run on stats. Um, so yeah. I still feel it's important that you, you use your eye, especially in horse racing. Um, obviously, in football, it can happen as well. Um, even, you know, watching a game, sometimes you get the gist of like a team that's sort of tired. So I remember earlier in the season, Newcastle were obviously playing a lot of games Um and I, I, I felt like I had a little edge on them because I just felt like they were a team that was tiring and then they struggled for sort of four or five games. So whether AI would show that data, um, I suppose it could do in terms of like, you know, things like if their, if their fouls had gone up, uh, lack of possession, things like that. But I still think yeah. you need that visual um, impression when, yeah, watch, watching, it, like, watching it live, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. We've had plenty of discussions now on um, AI for betting and betting tips um, using yeah. artificial intelligence. And there's certainly a lot of flaws to it. It's only as good as the data that you put in there. But mm. also what I do like about it, which you mentioned um, several times to me, which I never really thought about it this way, was how AI is emotionless. So mm. it's basically, you're obviously you support Chelsea, so sometimes your heart might be wanting to back Chelsea to win the yeah. game. Not so actually, much lately. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But if the AI is saying that, no, don't back him, um, we yeah. beat the opposition or whatever, it might just kind of sway you not to lose more money on backing Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
But yeah, it's interesting how, how you're using AI now moving forward. And I'm interested to hear the viewer's point. So do you feel that AI is going to help other tipsters? It's going to help your betting in the long term? Um, leave a yeah. comment in the comment section or drop us a tweet and see whether what your thoughts are with how artificial intelligence, are you using it yourself? for sports betting, for football tips, for horse racing tips? And do you feel it will become more important, the use of artificial intelligence um, in the future for any gambling online?